this is Harshala. Welcome back to my channel. I think in one of my vlogs I mentioned that I was going through some health issues and I'm still recovering. I think I took about 20 days off um, from YouTube and Instagram and just creating content. Um, I think I just uh, created what I felt like that too if I felt like and I feel much better now. I'm still recovering but um, I'm here and I'm gonna be I, I, I mean I just thought that it's time that I start my work you know. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about what to pack and how to pack. Uh, for a tropical vacation and I thought it just makes sense since it's summers and I have already taken four trips this year but out of which I think two were to a hot place like I went to Goa and I recently took a Gokarna road trip um, which I don't even want to talk about because it was such a disaster. I tried vlogging also on that trip but I did not get a lot of footage. I think I might integrate a few clips here and there in my upcoming vlogs. Uh, so yeah, um, look out for that. And I'm finally back. Hopefully, uh, you will be seeing me every week. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys what to pack. And I think this will really help you guys because I hate overpacking. I mean, who enjoys that, right? And I was such a big overpacker. And now I have figured this out. And with the things that I'm going to show you guys, I think you'll easily get like 25 plus options or like outfits. You just have to mix and match and that's about it so i'm gonna be uh, putting exact a number of pieces that you would need so that would really help you guys and yeah let's just start always have that one solid color in my wardrobe especially if i'm going on a trip especially if i'm going on a tropical vacation i really have um, been out of practice i feel so just bear with me here i usually like to carry any shade of white which could be beige oat milk white uh, off white any any white uh, and uh, yeah that's how i like to start packing i usually pack my bottoms first so starting off you'll need two shorts now i love the look of denim shorts okay i love and enjoy wearing denim shorts but with the heat and everything it's just not feasible and right option to wear in my opinion so what i like to wear and the materials that i prefer are linen and cotton they are your best friends during summers actually not just during summers throughout the year i think there's such good uh, materials to have in your wardrobe i'm going to show you two uh, shorts options that i have now this one i got from an instagram store you can get similar ones on h&m as well i have been eyeing these really long pants uh linen wala those are so beautiful but the only problem with linen cotton is that they get um, wrinkled and crease very easily but i think that's the beauty of those materials in my opinion um yeah i don't know there's just some beauty to it okay so this is the shorts that i have now i usually like to wear this as a cover-up as well when i'm going to the beach this works really really well um and i really like how airy and breezy this is don't have to worry about anything i just have to wear this and this has like an elastic band so it's pretty good uh <laughs> even if you're eating a lot and you're bloated this is going to take care of that um, um, so I really like this it also has pockets this is what it looks like really good love this the next uh, thing that I think you should be carrying and something that I also like to wear when I'm traveling like I wore uh, I I was on a 16 hour no 15 was it 15 14 15 hour road trip because of the traffic and everything and i was wearing sweatshorts and i think they are very very easy to wear extremely comfortable now these are the ones that i have from a h and m uh they these are i think off white in color and i really like it uh you can i think i got them last year i'm sure h and m might have these even this year i'll try and link them in the bottom bar below now usually i really like to carry only two shots but uh you know it's a season of cords and i love how cords look they are extremely classy and i'm all about it uh so i have this one from h and m i think i got it like last season again during the sale season um so this is what the shots look like and i think it's called like terry shorts and i have a terry top it's um basically you wear it together and i love it imagine wearing this with like white oversized shorts such a look right and white slip-ons man love whites and just like how summery and springy it looks so yeah one cord set uh now again as i said try and stick to like solid colors if you have something that's printed that would also do just make sure that you're tying in all the colors that you're carrying that's it that's why i like to go for white since you can mix and match and yeah just 
like go about it also really like to carry one pant at least um you know just for the times that i'm going out or you know i want to look put together maybe i'm going out for dinner or something like that again it's white <laughs> it's uh, now this is off white i really like it it's a cotton uh, trouser that i got from a uh, mango i also really like how it has elastic and if you are anyone like me and you struggle with your bottom wears fitting you right um i think something that has elastic really helps helps because it uh, definitely holds uh, and fits your waist really well what i also really like to uh, carry are some just throw on pieces uh, some shirts uh, so i usually like to carry two shirts one colored and one white but um, yeah so this is the white shirt that i have it's by project eve i have worn this so many times and it's like semi formalish um, but you can definitely get like poplin shirts cotton shirts oversized shirts um H&M and Zara does it all the time. Mine is from Project Eve. You can check out Project Eve as well. As I said, I also really like to carry at least one colored option. So I have this one. I really like orange and I did not know how beautiful Indian skin color looks when you wear bright colors like yellow, red and like oranges. So beautiful. Next up, I have two dress options for you guys. Just carry like two dresses and you should be good. Um I usually like to carry since I usually like to carry one that's more on a dressier side which I can dress it down and dress it up as well. So I have this one I have not worn this even once. I forgot to carry this uh, for my Goa trip but this is a very beautiful um um uh, dress that I got from Zara. I really like the flower detailing on it. I got it on sale. This is what it looks like. It's a short dress. It's beautiful and I can definitely uh, you know dress it up and dress it down like if I have to dress it down I will just wear like a shirt on top of it. With with the slippers and that's it and if i want to dress it up i'll do my hair look really nice and probably wear it with heels and yeah call it a night or call it a day it's so beautiful really like this i also really like to carry like a really nice maxi dress um when i'm going out or uh, just to like roam around uh if i'm going to markets or something like that this is so nice and the pictures it it also looks really good in pictures again something that i got last season from zara i actually haven't shopped can you believe it it's been 4 months that i have not shopped and that's one of my resolutions for this year to really rewear my clothes that i already have so i have been staying away and also because i really want to save money i think i spent a lot of my money on clothes and that's something that i want to stop but i really like having flowy dresses as well when you're just roaming around going to a market sightseeing or something like that you know it's this is going to be so perfect really really like it okay let's talk about tops i usually like to carry at least 3 tops again uh, i'm just going to be showing you the color palette that i have shown so something that's bright and sticking to whites so i have this one where i can do like all white look so i have this i have this really pretty strappy top that i got from zara last year it just has like a different neckline than a normal strappy top that's why i think it looks it adds a little something to the top i'm if i might say so myself again i'm just sticking to my color palette uh, so just uh, you know get white and you can do blues as well depending on what you're going for now i showed you like orange and green so i'm just sticking to the same color palette and whites so this is the top that i have i think it looks really nice and i can again it has a very different um neckline this almost gives me like that coconut girl vibe now this one i got it from zara last season i think i can definitely see myself wearing this with white shorts and the orange shirt that i showed you the crop shirt i think this would look amazing i love it i think i've already worn that look now let's talk about swimsuits uh, now i would recommend you guys to go in and get um, something that is in solid color also something that's like i'll show you now this some this is something that i have worn and this looks good uh, but this is definitely does it's not secure like it doesn't uh, really hold in stuff and it's very uncomfortable if you actually go um, and plan on swimming in the sea you can definitely wear this in the pool but not in the sea so yeah this is the one this is the one that i have i don't know why is it looking like this because it's a very bright neon um orange color i really like it and this picture is also really well this is one option that i have the second option that i have is something more secure uh, so depending on like where i'm going two swimsuits are more than enough you don't really have to you know go crazy now this is reversible so uh, this is yellow but at the same time if you reverse it it has like 
uh, these things on it it's very very beautiful really like how high waisted it is i just have like i think there was this one time when i collaborated with kapshi and i have a lot of <laughs> swimsuits from kapshi and i haven't shopped after that because i don't even go anywhere as such or i don't even know how to swim so it's just for like you know if i'm clicking pictures or going to the pool so the, the these are the ones that i have and i keep using the same ones every year so yeah this is what it looks like it's a very nice one shoulder um you know swimsuit and i really really like it it's beautiful again you can just wear this with the shorts or the pant and you know call it a look it totally depends on you how you would like to mix and match but i'm sure if you carry just these many options you'll get like 25 per 25 plus outfits and which is more than enough that i don't even think so you're gonna wear those many options you have to have to carry at least one scarf now i have this one it's so beautiful really like the colors as well you can wear this as a top or you can wear this as a head scarf so many things and yeah you can wear it uh so many ways you can style it you can also tie it around your waist and kind of make it look like sarong skirt so yeah just so many things that you can do with a scarf really like carrying this as well should be just carrying like two bags i have this one it's a it's white in color obviously to tie in the colors you can also carry tote bags if you want uh, if you're going to the beach tote bags are really really cool uh, you can keep like so many things in it and yeah look like that hawaiian beach girl i really like that white and i got it like a couple of years ago i don't even remember i think 2017 i guess and this is a cane bag really cool you can find i don't know i have not really seen this anywhere uh, oh i saw this uh in marks and spencers the other day if i'm not wrong but yeah they do something similar or you can also find it on like street shops or something like that in goa so it's a very nice bag i have worn this so many times and i love love carrying this it's very cute one more thing that i would like to uh, recommend you guys to carry is at least one sweatshirt the first thing that i always do whenever i have to go somewhere is uh, look up uh, the weather what it's like and whatever the weather may be like even here when i had been to gokarna i was sharing a room with my friend and she literally like uh, has ac on the lowest setting and oh my god that i can't really do that i can't stand anything that's cold and uh, in the middle of the night it gets extremely extremely cold and i hate it so i usually like to carry at least like one sweatshirt so this is the one that i have from h&m again in the same color palette it's off white so or like this oat milk sort of color so you can wear this and wear it with your shorts and yeah call it a day so it's so cool and it's gonna keep you i also like to wear this um as a cover up uh when i'm at the beach uh if i've taken a dip or something like that i'll come out and wear a sweatshirt because oh my god it gets so cold <laughs> after a while and it gets really cold at the beach um rat go uh, not in goa i mean in south goa yes but if you're in north goa it's it's a disaster i hate going to north goa anyway those are all the things that you would want to carry and if you carry just these many things oh my god you're sorted and i'm sure you'll get so many outfits i'm not even kidding just mix and match pieces and call it a day buddy like uh, you do not need anything more than this um obviously you can curate your outfits according to the things that you will be doing your itinerary but i'm sure like even if you follow this it will be enough so yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did then you know the drill like share comment and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as it would mean the world to me so please go ahead and do that and i'll see you next time bye